America's not ready. She's not ready. Goodbye, Terrence. Goodbye, Beauty. Sleepy puppies. Face de resistance. Get shaver. Home for the next couple of weeks. Well, good morning. We are on the road and moving. We're just trucking along, literally. Still about 940 miles to go, so it's going to be a long way. Gas tank says 600 miles till empty. So it should be interesting. Fortunately, it's starting to rain right now, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hopefully, we'll end up in better weather. But yeah, everything's packed up. You saw the back of the truck. Got everything I need. And at this stage, if I've forgotten something I need, then I've forgotten it. So I will probably touch base with you when we get closer to where we're going. Maybe someone in Cleveland can tell me tell me why, but <laughs> just stopped in Cleveland on the lake, look. The car that you just saw is exactly what I was about to ask about. Every car that has pulled in has had their windows down and their music like blaring. I don't know, is that a thing? I guess, I don't know, but just sitting here. Just enjoying some lunch, gonna eat my sandwich. My sandwich got my little cooler with me. And yeah, then I'm gonna get back on the road. Just stop in, I figured it'd be nice to sit by the lake, enjoy the breeze, and stretch my legs a little bit, so. And use the bathroom. We are, we've been through Pennsylvania, Ohio. We don't know Ohio for quite some time now. I think, I think we're just about to hit Indiana and then we'll be skirting the Indiana, Michigan border, I think, I think, but yeah, I mean it's, uh, it's going alright, my, uh, my ETA is creeping up just because I've been stopping to use uh, the restroom and put gas in the truck, but only five hours left at this point. It's not long, is it? Five hours. But pretty cool to know that I could, uh, you know, be in Michigan in a day's drive. I'm sure there's some cool spots in Michigan. Mm, so slow. Been fine. Of course, it's been fine up until here, but now we're just trundling along. That cloud's so weird, it's like completely blocking the sun in a straight line. It's like the sun's setting above the horizon. Well, I know you guys probably can't see much, but I just wanted to show you this. I wanted to stop here. I was originally going to stop, there's a little park down there, but it seems like a little uh, too uh, secluded. Seems like I'd be the only car in the car park. It, it just stick out like a sore thumb, but that is the Missi Mississippi River right there. And beyond that lays the American West. So I'm excited. Okay, well I'm actually around the back of this hotel. Right now, Motel 8, whatever. Just across the river from where I showed you guys because there was a McDonald's nearby, but you haven't even seen this. You haven't even seen this. Piece de resistance. Gotta excuse the, the camper, the stuff right now, because that's gotta go on the windows, but. Well, this goes on the back window. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Gee. Lock that. Yeah. 
did I mention? <laughs> oh, plenty of space for activities. Did I mention it's about like 80 degrees today? 82 degrees today? So it's hot in here right now. It's a little bit sweaty. That's fine. It'll be alright. It should be interesting. First night, I'm gonna eat some McDonald's. And then I'm just gonna go to sleep because I'm exhausted. I was gonna drive for another hour, but I am absolutely bushed, so. Good night. Cold brew coffee, so I didn't have to mess around. You obviously saw this yesterday. Freezer, freezer, cooler. Keeping me stuff cold, but I've also got a bag of ice in there. A block of ice. You son of a. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm having one of those mornings. Right. So it's concentrate, right? Look at it, just a little pod. Concentrated coffee. I've been doing that. You saw me mix it with the bigger one earlier, but I haven't done these little pods yet. Oh, you saw me do it yesterday, so you just take that, dump that in there. That can go in my garbage. Hello, garbage. Then it says mixing eight ounces of water, but I know from doing the other one, as long as I put ice in here and then pretty much just fill it up that's about eight ounces so there we go stick my lid on put my finger over the hole because otherwise we'll go up for a coffee is done for the day Well, hopefully that got all the bugs off the windshield, but we'll find out, won't we? Better than it was. Can't ask for much in three minutes. Two kettles and black feet Sioux, for the most part, Okay, well, we are currently in Lincoln, Nebraska. And this is my first Casey's experience. Mmm. Not bad. I've seen a lot of stuff about Casey's from Flair and uh, you betcha, you betcha. I know it's big in the Midwest, so. There we go, Casey's Pizza. That is cool. That is cowboy country. Pioneers. It's definitely safe to say we're in the middle of nowhere. Right now we're on BLM land about, I don't know, maybe 10 miles from Independence Rock in Wyoming, so figure this will be a good spot. It'll be nice and quiet compared to last night and uh, we'll be able to watch the sunrise. Hopefully we'll get a good sunrise in the morning. Maybe see some antelope. Maybe. Right now it's time to eat some food. Starving. Sandwich and a salad would be great. Great. This back one has little Velcro tabs. Stick it in there. It's gonna be chilly tonight. It's gonna be chilly tonight. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm so glad I did it like this configuration. So glad. If I'd done the one 
where it's just one bed platform it'd just be so much tighter but like this is just perfect the only thing i wish i'd done is those two end bits that are open i wish i'd cut things in the top of them so when i'm in i can access stuff from the top as well but apart from that i'm pretty happy with the configuration so far i'm telling you telling you america you're not ready you're not ready i can't believe it's not butter in trouble from my wife she doesn't like when i eat this she doesn't like when i eat the fake stuff you know you know i'm looking forward to cooking some food i bought some pork chops from the uh from walmart earlier i stopped in cheyenne yeah i was gonna get the stove out get the frying pan out and cook them but i've just been uh I've just been driving non-stop. I'm just literally trying to get the distance in. I'm on a on a timeline. So, um, yeah, I've just sort of been going, 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 going. I'm sort of hoping that the plan is tomorrow I don't have to drive as many hours like I've done. Two 14-hour days to get to here at this stage. I mean, I did that. A lot of spillage. A lot of spillage. Come on, pickle. Come on now, pickle. Come on now. I'm getting it everywhere. I'm starving, Marvin. But yeah, I did that on purpose. I did two 14 hour days because these are two places I wanted to stay. I wanted to stay. Hang on. Get some greens in me. That'll do me a world of good. That's what I forgot, my pee bottle. My pee bottles are in the front of the truck. But yeah, I wanted to stay at these two places. I wanted to stay at the edge of the Mississippi River because that's, you know, the start of the West. And then obviously Independence Rock is is the Oregon Trail, part of the Oregon Trail. So it just seemed like, it just seemed appropriate. Plus I have a kind of an obsession with the American West. I listened to a lot of books about it, reading a lot of books, and listening to one on the way here. I listened to two on the way here, The American Serengeti and The Heart of Everything That Is. And yeah, I just think it'd be cool. It was awesome. I saw some pronghorn antelope today as well for the first time ever. There's a bunch of them around me right now. I can't see them because it's dark, but maybe in the morning I'm going to get up. I've got my binoculars with me for glassing on this trip, so hopefully I'll be able to... Hopefully I'll be able to... Uh, see a couple in the morning maybe if i'll see if I, i've got the spotting scope attachment so the phone scope attachment or whatever it is so i'll see if i can get some video of them on the phone that'd be cool but we'll see we'll see tomorrow is a new day i'm gonna eat this get my pee bottle drink some a little just a little bit of whiskey and then i'm gonna go to bed and get up with the sun Well, that's not a bad way to wake up, is it? Not a bad way to wake up at all. I mean, unreal. Shelly. Well, it looks nice. Cheers, guys. Well, it doesn't look it, but I can assure you it's a chilly one up here on the high plains this morning. I know I've just got straight sunshine, but it's only like 35 degrees. So it's a little cold, a little chilly. 
but this is the first first actual proper morning in the truck camper doing some camping camping got my coffee got my eggs out on some public land with a beautiful view what more can you ask for what more can you ask for I know that I'm only I don't know uh, maybe half a mile from the road but obviously there's no there's nothing it's just all grass so you can hear all the cars but there's no one up here I'm by myself it was a very nice change of pace last night from that noisy car park to being out here when it was just dead quiet dead quiet not something I'm used to either because in the woods there's always like little especially this time of year there's always something making a noise even if it's just the wind in the trees but out here though it's just nothing. It's dead quiet. It's dead quiet. But yeah, can't complain. Cannot complain. Next spot, ten minutes down the road. We're gonna go check out Independence Rock. The start of the start of the Oregon Trail. Well, there she is man. Independence Rock. Independence Rock. Somebody's gonna have to tell me, was it the start of the Oregon Trail or was it the start of the Rocky Mountains? I can't remember. I can't see any any wagon wagon uh, tracks, but we'll see if we can find some. Probably can't see them. Way out there. Some antelope. Just grazing. This kingdom is yours. As far as the eye can see. So somewhere over there was where I was camped. Well, there you go, man. The air's a little thinner at 7,000 feet, but I'm on top of Independence Rock. I can't tell which is the wagon trails because there's, <laughs> there's tire marks everywhere, but I guess it really didn't matter that much. I think it goes that way, if I remember rightly. But still, this is amazing. I can't imagine what people had to do on foot, to get here on foot, and then still go even further is just crazy. Wild. How long it took me to get across those plains, just to this point, to do it on foot would be absolutely mind-boggling. Well, I must admit, it's hard to imagine uh, pioneers and settlers coming across these plains with horse and wagons and all these tractor trailers going on behind me, but oh well. Such is the modern world. But anyway, the next, I gotta, I go, I'm happy I gave myself an hour this morning. Gave myself two hours before I had to set off. I really pushed it the last two days driving, so now I should be able to relax. Because say I'm going to carry on now to Idaho and then stay the night in Idaho and then there I've only got a couple hours to get to where I need to be four hours I think it is and that way when I get there I can film and do some more stuff and organize my gear so if you like this give it a like subscribe to follow the adventure and as always I will see you on the next one take it easy